how are you? Welcome to the newest, the most exciting, the colloquial masterpiece in the HQ universe. I'm talking about HQ Words, where you solve word puzzles to win cash. We are live from New York City, and we're halfway through the cold, cold week. At least here in New York, it's been really cold. But hey, this is where dreams are made of, right? Just a little callback to Monday's music night. Did you like that? Did you like our first theme night? Let me know in the chat. I am your host, your self-proclaimed word nerd, Anna Roisman. You can find me here. I'm a palindrome all over social media. Say word up. If you're hoping to put a little extra money away tonight, you are in the right place. Tonight's prize is $1,000. And if you're one of the three fastest solvers, you're taking home more money than the rest. Sounds pretty sweet. Now it's time for your free letter. Spin the wheel around my face. Roses are red, violets are blue. Did you get a good letter? Was that wheel kind to you? Ooh, I'm a poet. I hope so, because whatever letter it landed on will show up at the beginning of any puzzle. Little freebie to get this party started. It's time for the first puzzle. Remember, the faster you solve, the more money you could win. So take your time, focus on the game. Just don't fall asleep or anything, okay? I want you to win something. Rely on the hint. It will inspire the answers. Your first hint is fish. Since this is the first puzzle, I'm gonna help you out here. Type in the letters N, M, and S. You got this. You know this fish, right? It's a beautiful color, too. Also, I did have this fish when I had sushi tonight. Not gonna lie, true story. Do you know what I had? I had salmon. Salmon is the first answer. 193,600 solved the puzzle. 13,729 eliminated on salmon. It's the best. I had a crunchy, spicy salmon roll. You gotta. Okay, now that we've had our salmon to give us a little energy, let's play this game for real. Our bodies are made up of a lot of important parts. Your hint is in the human body. This is one of the most important parts, I would say. And you know what? I know that you're using it right now to answer this puzzle. You got this. For puzzle two, the answer is brain. It's brain, 176,100 solved the puzzle, 18,054 eliminated on brain. You're all smart people, you're using your brain for this whole game right now. Hey, you know what I love, that brain emoji? Throw that brain emoji in the chat right now. I just wanna see all brains, all of the brainiacs, toss it in there. Do it while I give these some give you some shout outs. I asked for you to send me your favorite puns. It's wordplay, right? Where a word or a few words have more than one meaning. I love puns so much. They're so pun, they're so fun. So I gotta shout it out to Lucas who said, seven days without a pun makes one week. Ho oh, ho, too true. Wow, the crowds here are just losing it right now. They're all laughing. And shout out to Shannon, who said, I'm super friendly with 25 letters of the alphabet. I just don't know why. <laughs> that was a good one. You know, a word pun, a pun on letters and words. I loved it, on letters at least. Okay, but back to brains, right? All those brains are just coming in right now. Our brains retain so much, whether it's books we read or shows we watch, which brings me to your next hint. What is this fantasy TV show? Okay, it's not real, it's fantasy. And this show is popular AF, I'm gonna give you that. We're also living through the season that this show loves. Does that help? Did that help you? I hope so. Are you a, are you a fan of HBO's Game of Thrones? Oh yeah, you know that dragon. Game of Thrones is the answer. Do we have any Game of Thrones fans here? 165,700 solved the puzzle. 10,500 eliminated on Game of Thrones. You gotta start watching all the other seasons, right? Because we're, or get your tissues ready. We are having the last season of Game of Thrones 
this spring, but before your Game of Thrones marathon, you probably want to stock up on some snacks, right? It's long. Is your kitchen clean or is it a little wonky? I gotta know this kitchen pest. It happens. It's the room full of open food, drinks, crumbs. Even if you clean, sometimes stuff gets left behind. It attracts pests. And I want to know this one, this airborne one, I'm talking about a fruit fly. Fruit fly is the answer. 150,000 solved the puzzle. 16,094 eliminated on fruit fly. Here's a life hack that I learned about fruit flies. You got to put a cup full of apple cider vinegar in the room that has fruit flies. They're all going to go there. They're all going to be attracted to that vinegar and then you won't have fruit flies anymore. Wow, am I a wealth of information? Okay, so if you live in an apartment like me, then your kitchen is also your living room, which has your desk. So tell me, what's on your desk? We keep so many different things on our desks. Some are for getting work done, like this one. I can assure you that most people have this on their work desks. you know, to put in information. I'm talking about a QWERTY keyboard. QWERTY keyboard, you see that there? The letters on a Latin alphabet keyboard spell out QWERTY. We just showed it to you, so you believe me. 75,700 solved the puzzle. 74,900 just got schooled on QWERTY keyboards. Schooled out of the game. I'm so sorry to see you go. We're moving on to grad school now, but unfortunately you didn't get in this time. If you typed that answer in on your keyboard though, you still have that magical keyboard through this next half. You just made it halfway through the game, baby. You solved five puzzles so far. Now we're in like the better half. You know, the one where you win actual money. Your hint is classic food combo. I love this hint. It's two foods that pair really well together. We've had a few of these on the show before. It's gonna make me hungry. Ooh, you got an ampersand, because you know it's two foods. 11,000 solved it right off the bat. You can have it on bread or not. I'm talking about sausage and peppers. Sausage and peppers, mmm, better be spicy peppers. 53,458 solved the puzzle. 25,826 out on sausage and peppers. You can eat this everywhere, right? They even have it at, at stadiums. You can eat it at a ballpark or any other sports arena. So tell me, are you getting ready for the big game? We gotta do a little pregame hang. I'm talking about at the tailgate. Mm-hmm. Yesterday we talked about before the tailgate. Today we're all about what happens at the tailgate. Right? Like games. I've seen this in a lot of movies and TV. And I'll tell you what's at the tailgate. It's that cornhole competition. Cornhole competition, 21,775, got it. 33,286, schooled again on cornhole competition. Schooled out of the puzzle. Oh, it's that game where you have those two boards, you have a lot of bean bags, and you gotta throw them in the cornhole. It's a fun game, it's very easy, you know, to like, while you're holding your beer, you're at the tailgate and you play cornhole. It's great, it's fun, it's easy, unless you treat it like a real competition, okay? Competitions can get very intense. Hey, can you tell me this modern rivalry? Ooh, this is good. Could it be between companies, between people, between companies full of people? I feel like this is something all of us are familiar with. And right now, it's a hot rivalry. Cause I'm talking about Hulu versus Netflix. 10,241 solved the puzzle. 14,289 out on Hulu versus Netflix. Have you watched the Firefest doc? 
oh, there's a Hulu Fire Fest documentary. There's a Netflix Fire Fest documentary. I've seen both, and I gotta say, I wanna know in the chat right now, right in Hulu or Netflix, which one did you like better? That specific documentary, cause I'm team Hulu, if it comes to the Fire Fest doc. Okay, while we're on this little path of tailgating, competition, the energy of this game, I wanna keep this momentum alive. Your hint is sports broadcast. There are a few famous ones of these, okay? But this one happens repeatedly. So put your brain in the game and type in this sports broadcast. And the answer is Thursday night football. I'm talking NFL, 9,371 solved the puzzle, 2,500 eliminated on Thursday night football. It's probably happening tomorrow night, right? Thursday night. Do you play HQ sports? Did you just score a touchdown? You're definitely in the end zone because you just made it to the final puzzle. We started tonight's game with over 200,000 players and here we are at the deciding moment. You can do this. It's time to find out who wins, who goes home, who knows these burglars tools. You ever see Home Alone? Try that. Have you seen Home Alone 2? I'm no burglar, but I know I've seen these tools in a lot of movies, right? Because burglars only exist in movies. None of you guys are burglars. You got an ampersand and a comma. You know there's three things. Did you get them? The answer is crowbar, lockpick, and hammer. Oh my! Crowbar, lockpick, and hammer. But guess what? It looks like this game did not rob 5,153 players because you just won HQ Words, baby! Congratulations! Let's take a look at our fastest players in tonight's game. In first place, winning $100. Toter, what up, Toter? In second place for $75, HQB broken. It's not broken tonight, you just won 75 bucks. And in third place for $50, WPX, you did it. Look at all those people who won. Congratulations, that is our game for tonight. I wanna to congratulate all of the other winners and our new players who join HQ Words tonight for the very first time. I'd love to hang longer with you, but I gotta go eat some grilled salmon and decide if I prefer Hulu or Netflix, but let's be real, neither of them have Game of Thrones, so is HBO the winner here? Oh, snap. I just got it. I am Anna Roisman. Say hi. Send me a word up on social media. I will see you back here tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time for a brand new game of words right after trivia. So until then, go write some poems. Go read a newspaper. Get ready to win this thing. And hey, have a great night. I love you. Bye.